few days. Hey, hold on. Excuse me. Aren't you forgetting something? Uh, I don't think so. What? A hug, maybe? Oh, that was cute. I'm not 10 years old anymore, Dad. Stop embarrassing me in front of my friends. Come on. Oh, hey, um, your car keys. Pretty sure you need these. Oh, and hey, um, I packed some emergency supplies for you girls to take on your road trip. Look, a portable charger in case your phone dies. Gas canister in case you run out of gas. First aid kit and jumper cables in case you want We don't to... need all this. We'll be fine. Honey, there's a lot that can happen on a long drive. So it's best to always be prepared. Like with this. Car jack and lug wrench to change a tire. I checked your car and I didn't see these in there. Also, protein bars in case you guys get hungry. Stop! That's enough! You're always babying me! Oh, come on! Wait, uh, Raji! So annoying. He's just worried about you, that's all. Yeah, I wish my dad cared as much as yours does. Trust me, if you had my dad, you'd be annoyed too. Sweetheart, hold on, hold on. Just leave us alone, dad. We can take care of ourselves. I know, but I still worry about you. Here, I'll just put this in the trunk. No, I don't want to be lugging around all that extra crap. Are you sure? Yes. All right, well, here. At least take these directions, so in case you girls get lost on the way up there, you can... That's what we have phones for. Right. Well, hey, uh, at least let me check the, the tires and the gas. No, you're just doing too much. Please, just leave us alone. I'll see you on Monday. Monday? But, but I thought you were coming back Sunday so we could spend Father's Day together. Justin Bieber's performing on Sunday. There's no way I'm going to miss that. Well, is there anything else I can do for you? Just put all this in the trunk. Let's go, ladies. Bye, Mr. Schwani. Happy early Father's Day. Thanks. Please be safe. Uh, have Raji call me when you guys get there. All set, Raji. I love you so much. I'm so hungry. Me too. I'll pull over at the next stop I see. Thanks. So, who else is performing this weekend? I don't know. I only care about seeing Justin. <laughs> <laughs> well, who do you guys think he was better with? Selena or Haley? I say Selena. <laughs> Not a chance. Justin and Haley make a way better couple. Personally, I think he'd look the best with me. <laughs> <laughs> What's up with the music? Turn on the radio. Come on. Yeah. I don't know what stations work out here. What city are we even in? Well, I don't see any signs. But, but let me let me look at my map. Oh, my phone doesn't even have service. Oh, mine either. We're like in the middle of nowhere. Here. Play music on my phone. Okay. Put on peaches. Peaches? Die for you is way better. Uh oh. It says your phone's at 10%. Maybe we should save your battery. It's no, it's fine. We'll just charge it at the hotel. Okay. <laughs> yes! Turn it up! Oh, I'm so excited for this weekend. We're gonna have so much fun. Woo! <laughs> What on earth was that? It sounded like you hit something. Oh no, my tire light's going off. I think I better pull over. Are you sure it's safe to stop here? This place looks super sketch. Great, a flat tire. Does anyone know how to change it? I have no idea. Okay, well, let me call roadside assistance. I'm sure they like do this all the time. Hopefully it won't take like too long. Hello? Hi, yeah, my name is Raji Shwani. 
Yeah, I'm stuck in the middle of the road with a flat tire. You can get someone to come help us? <sighs> yeah, that'd be great. My location. Yes, let me check my maps and I'll get back to you in one second. Oh no. Hello? <sighs> my phone died. Uh, here, use mine. <sighs> it says there's no service. Does yours have any service? Um, uh, no. Guys, what are we gonna do? Uh, well, let's wait in the car. It's not safe out here. We've been stuck here for over an hour. What are we going to do? Um, Doesn't anyone have a charger? My car thing hasn't worked in forever. I only have a wall charger. Uh, it's not gonna work. Should have taken the portable charger your dad was trying to give us. Oh, yeah. Dang. My stomach's growling. Is there any food in the car? No, I didn't bring anything. Should have taken the protein bars your dad had. You're right. I should have listened to him. <gasps> Look! A car! Let's ask them for help. Good idea. Wait! Help! Can you help us? Hey, are you guys all right? No, we have a flat tire. Can you help? Do you have a spare? What about a car jack or a lug wrench? Uh, your dad said he checked it's not in here, remember? Oh, shoot. You're right. No, we don't. Unfortunately, I don't have mine either. Without that, there's not much I can do. I'm so sorry. Good luck, though. Wait, can we at least use your phone? Oh, I can't believe this. What are we going to do now? You guys, I'm scared. I mean, we're in the middle of nowhere and our phones yeah. don't work. And what, what if something bad what if Hold it... up. Why did some car just pull up behind us? There's a guy that just got out. <gasps> he's walking towards us. Oh guys, what if he's a killer? What do we do? Oh, 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 should we run? Where do we go? Oh, no, 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 we no, all we like, maybe we should get out now. We're out this way. We're supposed to go. Oh my gosh, he's coming from the window. Raji, it's me! Wait, is that your dad? <laughs> what are you doing here? I came to help you. Pop your trunk and put your hazards on. You have no idea how happy I am to see you. How in the world did you even find us? Well, I got a call from roadside service, and they said you might be in trouble, so I just followed the directions to the festival, and thank God I found you. Wow, you're like the best dad ever. Seriously, I wish I had a dad like you. Thanks. Oh, uh, protein bars, anyone? Yes, please. I'll take one. Okay. Thanks, Dad. And I'm guessing you... You might need this. Okay, why don't you girls go in the car and let me change this tire? That sounds great to me. You don't need to tell me twice. I don't even know what to say. You don't need to say anything at all. That's what dads are for. Now go ahead and have a seat in the car. It's not safe out here. Okay, you girls are all set. I'm guessing it's okay if I put this in the trunk now. Actually, Dad, that won't be necessary. But what if something happens? I, I think it's smart. No, I mean, we're not going to the music festival anymore. What? But I don't understand. I, I thought you were dying to see Justin Bieber. I was, but then I realized I'd rather spend the entire weekend with you for Father's Day. That is, if you don't already have any plans. <laughs> <laughs> plans? What could possibly be more important than spending time with my baby girl? I'll follow you, okay? Wait! 
Aren't you forgetting something? Uh, I don't think so. A hug! <laughs> <laughs> Nicely played. Nicely played. <laughs> oh, I love you so much. Love you too, Dad. So how'd the meeting go? What was that, honey? Did the meeting go well? Sarah. Mm. Sarah. Why are you yelling? I'm literally right here. You know the rules. No phones at the table. What's the big deal? It's 2021. Everyone uses their phone while they eat. Not in this household, they don't. You're so annoying. Excuse me? Come on, just put it down for 10 minutes, sweetheart. This is family time. Yeah, family time with a family that I don't want to be a part of. Where are you going? If I can't use my phone at the table, then I won't eat. Simple as that. <sighs> okay. I don't, I don't know. Mom? Uh, give me a second. I thought you weren't talking to me. I'm not. Uh, but I need $40. For what? Okay, for something, I, I just need it. But didn't you get your allowance on Monday? Did you already spend it? Well, I've only got 20 bucks left, but that's it. I mean, you do realize my $100 allowance isn't a lot of money, right? I mean, all my friends get way more than that. And there are a lot of people who don't get anything, okay? So I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to wait. But mom, I- Sarah, I am not gonna change my mind. <sighs> Whatever. Honey, my sister's on the phone. She wants to say hello. Oh, how nice. Uh, hello? <laughs> yeah, hi, Cindy. It's five o'clock. Want to watch the new Darman video? Mm, I'll watch it later. Well, we won't be taking the test today. Because the three of us have a basketball game. What do you mean? The game's tomorrow. Not according to the phone, is Hey, Dad. Yes, honey. Can I have $40? Uh, did you ask your mom? Uh, no, yeah, yeah, uh, she was about to give it to me before you came down. Oh, okay, then yeah. Here you go. Thanks, Dad, you're the best. Yeah. Why did you just give that to her? What do you mean? She said you were about to give it to her. I, I cannot believe you just lied. Give that money back to your father right now. I wouldn't have to if you guys weren't so mean to me. We're not trying to be mean to you, but the word- I don't want another dumb lecture, okay? Go into my room. Oh, come on, Sarah. Sarah! See you guys later. Hang on, hey, hey, hey. I, I, I... Where do you think you're going? To hang out with Ashley and Morgan? On a Thursday night. I don't think so. You know you're not allowed to go out on weekdays. I don't have school tomorrow, so technically it's more like a weekend. Sorry, you're not going anywhere, honey. You can see your friends tomorrow night. What? No, my friends are already waiting for me. I have to go. Were you gonna say something, Jeff? I'm sorry, sweetheart, but you know the rules. Ugh, I'm so sick of all your guys' rules. Well, as long as you live under this roof, you're gonna have to follow them. Well, maybe I won't live in this house anymore. How about that? Sarah! I'm serious. One day you guys are gonna wake up, and I'm gonna be gone. Just watch. Thank you.
$17 for this top was such a good deal. You should have bought the jeans too. I tried to ask my parents for my money and they wouldn't give it to me. They're so strict. They wouldn't even let me come here. That's why I had to run away. I thought about running away before too, but I can never do it. Same. I never made it past the driveway. My mom's here, I gotta go. Still wanna ride? Yeah. What are you gonna do? I don't know. I was thinking maybe I could spend the night at your house. Uh, that'd be totally cool, except my uncle's visiting and he's using the guest room. Oh, okay. Uh, what about your house? You know the first thing my mom's gonna do is call your mom. <sighs> you're right. Okay, well, I guess I'll just figure something else out. Are you sure you're gonna be okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. Well, in case you want to go back home, at least you only live a few blocks away. That's not even an option. I'm never going back there. All right. Well, call us if you need anything. Good luck. Bye. Hey, little girl. Are you lost or something? You want to come with us? Uh, no, I'm okay. Uh, do, do you guys know any cheap places to stay around here? There's a motel up the street. It's like 29 bucks a night. Come on, we'll take you there. That's all right, thanks. Advice, never pull out cash around here. Please leave me alone. Don't worry, not here to hurt you. Hey, look at me. Oh my gosh, you're my age. So, what are you doing out here? It's my parents. They were driving me crazy, so I had to leave. I can understand that. How long you been out here? For about two weeks. Wow. I've been here two hours and I'm already struggling. What made you want to leave? I guess you could say for the same reason you left. You see, my parents were always being so mean and had all these rules. They never let me do anything made me feel like I was a prisoner. So that's when I decided to run away. I wrote them a note, grabbed my backpack, and took off in the middle of the night. At first, I was happy about my decision, but it didn't take long for things to start going wrong. Over time, everything got harder and harder. I ran out of money, had to sleep on the street, and I'm constantly surrounded by all these dangerous people. So you see, now I really regret my decision. Not a moment goes by where I don't think about going home. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. 
But if you don't want to be here, why don't you just go back home? I think about it all the time. Part of it is I live far away. Don't even have the $18 it cost me to go back home. The other part is I don't even know if my family wants me anymore. Hey. Hey, don't cry. All I can say is don't make the same mistake I did. I regret my decision so much. Love you, honey. Love you too, Dad. Breakfast is ready. Someone's in a good mood this morning. Yeah. I just love you so much. Oh, honey. Oh, I love you too. Okay, go take a seat. I can't believe I fell asleep on the couch last night. Oh, you look so comfortable. I didn't want to wake mm. you. I'm surprised you're not on your cell phone. If you want to use it, it's okay. To be honest, I feel bad about yesterday. No, it's all right. I would rather just talk to you guys. Is this the same Sarah from yesterday? What changed? Let's just say I realized a few things. Well, on that note, I talked to your dad last night and I realized something too. I shouldn't have questioned you. It seemed like you really needed it. So here's the $40. Really? Mm hmm Actually, that's okay. Mom, I don't need it anymore. Well, well I've never seen you turn down money. <laughs> wow. Okay. I'm so proud of you, honey. Well, let's eat. Oh, yeah. those waffles. <laughs> hey. What are you doing here? I came to give you this. What? But I thought you lost all your money. Yeah. But, um, I returned something that I bought. I appreciate it, but I can't take your money. Oh, please, I insist so that you can go back home. Take it. Thanks. But I don't know. I'm a little bit nervous. What if my parents don't want me back? Are you kidding? Come on, they're your parents. Of course they do. There's not a second that goes by where they're not missing you, I'm sure. You really think so? Maybe you're right. Thank you so much. I'll never forget this. You're welcome. Good Sasha. Honey, come quick, Sasha's here. I missed you so much, Dad. Oh, wow, my baby girl. Look who's here. Look. Oh, my God. 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 Let me look at you. Let me look at you. Oh, my God. Maybe our prayers have been answered. Yeah, please, don't leave us again like that, okay? Don't worry. Yeah. I never will. <laughs> Oh, my God. Oh, my baby. Oh, my baby. You think it's done yet? 
Patience, my child. Hold on. See you forever. Go. Wait, that looks so good, actually. Mm-hmm. That actually looks, like, super real. <laughs> it looks just like Charlie's. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you, Chelsea. I'll see. Okay, you don't know. I wish it was real. It looks real, right? I mean, yeah, but it's not. Oh, hey, um, I gotta get headed to work, but I wanna let you know your sister's sick. So she's gonna be here with us tonight and tomorrow, and um, she's sleeping on the couch. Okay, uh, what's wrong with her? She has a sinus infection. I gave her a Z-pack, she should be okay. What's on your wrist? Oh, this? It's a tattoo, I just got it earlier. Kendall, don't play with me. Relax, it's not real, Mom. Good. But while we're on the subject, my friend's brother is a tattoo artist, and he told me that he would give me a tattoo if you come with me. You know the rules. Not until you're 18. But Mom, I mean, look how cute it is. And I have all the money saved, so I'll pay for it myself. I know, it's so cute. But it's still gonna be cute in two years. Mom. I better get to work. Love you. Bye, Kendall. Bye, Chelsea. Hey, only two more years to your 18, right? Yeah, but who wants to wait until then? There has to be another way. I could I just go to some random guy's garage and get a tattoo? Wait, you think so? <gasps> I'm gonna search. Uh, Kendall, 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 I was kidding. It was like the fastest way to get your tattoo infected. And it's gross. No, let me show you some pictures. Yeah, no, no, never mind. <coughs> Man, your sister sounds really sick. Yeah. I wish I was 18 already so I could just get a real tattoo like Charlie. Charlie's not 18. Wait, she's not? How did she get the tattoo? Well, when what I heard, she took her older sister's ID. That's it. Selena. Oh, I can't believe I didn't think of this sooner. What are you saying? <laughs> You'll see. Come with me. Kendall, what are we doing? Shh, shh, don't wake her up. Can you tell me what we're doing? Okay. Selena's 19, so I can use her ID. And then, Kendall, what are you looking like? You can't pretend to be Selena. That's insane. Um, yes, I can. Who's gonna know? Besides, she's sick. She doesn't even need her license. Where is she gonna go? There's no way she could possibly know. I don't know, Kendall. This doesn't seem like a good idea. Look, I don't need a lecture right now. Just help me get the license. What are you doing? You have to lift her leg. No, I'm not going to do that. <sighs> Fine. But you do the lifting. I guess I'll grab the purse. <laughs> <coughs> I totally thought that we were gonna get caught. You thought almost getting caught was awesome? Oh, if this is any indication of this is gonna go, then I am terrified. No, if anything, this just shows that I'm totally gonna get away with this. <laughs> okay, I just have to look at some tattoo shops. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is where I'm gonna go. I still cannot believe you're doing this. <laughs> Of course I am, I'm making my appointment right now. Done. I'm so excited. Oh, I can't believe tomorrow this is gonna be real. Oh, won't your mom notice it if you get it on your wrist? You can't pretend it's fake forever. I'll just throw your long sleeves and sweaters around the house and she's not gonna know. Still, Kendall, 
I don't know, it seems kind of risky. Besides, what if the parlor finds out? They're gonna call your mom. You know what she always says, the truth always comes out in the end. Will you please stop? I do not need this kind of energy right now. I just need to take a picture of this. Send it to the tattoo artist. ID? Okay. Let's head on back. I cannot believe I did that. I mean, she literally thought that I was Selena. Yeah, I would have been crying. I'm so scared of needles. Oh, no, no, no. She didn't even use a needle. She said it was some kind of new technology. Hmm. I just can't wait for it to heal so I can get this bandage off. It says you need to buy an ointment for it. It'll be fine. I mean, I'm sure I have some kind of ointment in the house. Oh, remember, can't use Neosporin on it. Well, obviously. Yeah. It makes my skin break out. Do you remember that one time? Yeah. You're gonna have to buy something for it or it's gonna get infected. Well, I can't. I spent all my money on the tats. Way to plan ahead. Oh, kinda wait. But if your mom's home, I mean, she's gonna see that. Will you relax? Okay, in spite of what you think, I actually did plan ahead a little. Really? See? All better. Now we just have to figure out a way to get the license back to Selena. Actually, Kendall, I don't feel too good about this. I think I'm actually just gonna go home. Really, Chelsea? Yeah, sorry, but um, hey, good luck. I was wondering where you were. Uh, I was just out. Why is it so hot in here? Oh, the AC's out, and I called the property manager to fix it, but, um, I, but aren't you hot? It's like 90 degrees outside. Uh, I was getting ice cream, so now I'm cold. Though. But, but you just said you were hot. It looks like you're starting to sweat. Oh, uh, I didn't even notice it. I don't know, maybe my temperature's fluctuating. Hopefully it's not what Kendall has. Well, I'll take your temperature. You take that sweater off. No, I'm fine. Really, Mom. Why are you being so stubborn? Are you hiding something from me? No. Well, then there's no reason for you to be wearing all of that. Roll your sleeves up. Kendall. Okay, hopefully that's the AC guy. Let's pray he can fix this today. Hey, uh, are you feeling any better? Yeah, I'm starting to. Uh, I'm just gonna go outside, I need some air. <laughs> yeah, I could call, it's way nicer out there. It's so hot in here. Oh, Kendall, have you seen my ID? I need it tomorrow for my appointment. No, it's not in your purse? No, I can't find it. You know, it's weird though. I had a dream last night that you were going through my purse when I was sleeping on the couch. I mean, I thought it was crazy, but you know, now it's gone, so. Yeah, it's super weird. Um, no, Chelsea and I were just in my room most of the time. We came out once, but you were snoring, so we didn't want to bother you. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Yeah, I always have deep sleeps and crazy dreams whenever I'm on my meds, so. <laughs> no worries. Uh, I'll let you know if I find it though. Okay, yeah, thanks. I'll see ya. Chelsea, my arm hurts so bad, look. Oh my gosh. Oh, it hurts so bad, I think it's infected. Yeah, I think it might be. I take it you didn't get the ointment. Uh-uh, what should I do? I don't know, Kendall, it looks really bad. I mean, maybe you should go tell your mom. I mean, she's a nurse. No, oh, I'm not going to my mom. Here, I can just Google it. Kendall, look at your arm. Looks like it's about to fall off. Just 
Go tell your mom. You know, it's not gonna fall off, but if I tell my mom that I got a tattoo, then she'll break it off. Kendall, this is serious. I mean, people get amputations and other scary stuff like that. I mean, she was gonna find out eventually, right? Okay, I'm just gonna get this over with. Pray for me. Good luck. <laughs> Mom? 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 Oh, Marty. <clears throat> Kendall, what's going on with your arm? Is that a tattoo? Yes. Are you kidding me? Why would you do this? I don't know. I mean, can we please just talk about that later? I mean, look at my arm. This is so bad, Kendall. Did you even follow the care instructions? No. I'm going to have to soak it in soap and water until we can get you into Dr. Steinway's office. You think I have to go to the hospital? Yeah, that's what happens when you get a tattoo behind your mom's back. Go sit down. Mom, are you mad at me? I can't even believe you're asking me that right now. Wait. You just stop talking, Kendall. Okay, but look at it. I mean, what is soap and water gonna do at this point? Don't worry what it's gonna do. You just better hope I can fix it before, well, I don't even wanna talk about it. Before what? Mom? Wait, before what? What did I do? Mom? Why is it fading? Is my skin peeling off? No, it's fading because it isn't real. What are you talking about? It isn't real. Yes, it is. I went to a tattoo shop. The tattoo shop was real and the tattoo artist was real, but the ink was fake. You see, when I got home from work yesterday morning, I went into your room to check on you, but you weren't here. I figured you just went out, so I was gonna leave. But that's when I saw your laptop. I didn't think anything of it, really, until your sister told me that her license was missing and that you had just left the house. That's when I put two and two together. So I decided to call the tattoo parlor. I let the person who answered know that my underage daughter would be coming in with her big sister's ID, and luckily, they'd been in this situation before and already knew what to do. So, you see, it's not real. It's henna. It should come out in about a week. Are you serious? So I just did all that for nothing. Wait, but if it's not real, then why did it get infected like this? I know it irritates your skin, so I put some on your arm while you were asleep, just to teach you a lesson. There's some Benadryl in the cupboard that should take care of it. I can't believe that you found out. Yeah, well, Kendall, you should know that the truth always comes out in the end. There's clearly a reason why I wanted you to wait until you're 18 to get a tattoo. You're not ready for it now. I know, I'm really, really sorry, Mom. You're still in so much trouble for lying to me, for stealing your sister's ID. How come after all these years, you still can't figure out that you can't get anything past your mom? I totally should have known better. Did Selena get her license back? I put it in her room. Yeah, she found it. You can tell her all about your little shenanigans when she gets home. I guess I have no choice but to wait until I turn 18 to get a tattoo now. Hey, sweetie. How's the night with your friends? It was good. I have something to show you. Did you get a tattoo? Yeah. Are you kidding me? What were you thinking? Wait, you're seriously mad at me? I'm 19. Yeah, I'm mad. This is unbelievable. I'm going to my room. Oh no, don't walk out on me. We're gonna talk about this one. Oh. She's definitely not letting me get a tattoo anytime soon. Thanks for coming in. Hey, Dad, can you get me the new iPhone that just came out? It's only $800, look. Whoa, that's a lot of money. 
You know how hard we have to work to make that much? Stop overreacting. Bet's not even that hard. Look, money doesn't grow on trees. It takes a lot of hard work. But I really need it. I'll tell you what, you can work for it. And you can start by putting these dishes away. What? No way! What do I look like, a server? Ah, forget it, I'll just go ask mom. Mom. What is it, honey? Can you buy me the new iPhone? Dad's being cheap and won't get me one. I, I thought you just bought a new iPhone a few months ago. Yeah, but that was the iPhone 11. This is the iPhone 12, Mom. Honey, I still have an old flip phone to help us save money. How about this? Help me in the kitchen, and you can save up and buy it yourself. You can start with those dishes in there. Whoa, 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 whoa. No way, Mom. I'm not some dishwasher. You know what? Forget I even asked. But... Son, do you mind helping us? Do I look like a janitor to you? Just leave me alone. I know you're upset about that iPhone, but if you help us out around the restaurant, we'll pay you. Yes, and you can use that money to buy that iPhone on your own. I'm sick of this! I don't need you guys to buy it for me. I'll just get a job somewhere else and buy it on my own. Spencer leaves and is determined to get a job and buy the phone on his own. He starts applying for jobs and ends up getting one at another restaurant. He's so excited to start working. That is, until he starts to see how hard having a job really is. He struggles to clear all the dirty tables, spends hours on his feet washing endless piles of dirty dishes, and stays until closing, sweeping all the floors and stacking all the chairs. When he finally gets his first paycheck, he excitedly opens it up, but can't believe how little money he made from all of his hard work. He now sees just how difficult it is to make money. A couple months pass, and then Spencer decides to go visit his parents at the restaurant. Hey, Mom. Hey, Dad. I just finished my shift. Hey, honey, how'd it go? Good. Just really tired. You know, after working for the past couple of months, I realized that you two were right. Money doesn't grow on trees. It takes a lot of hard work. I see that now. Wow. I'm so proud of you, son. We're so happy to hear that. So did you buy yourself the iPhone? Yeah. <laughs> Except, I didn't buy this for myself. I bought this for you, Mom. I know how old your phone is, so... Here, you need it more than I do. Oh, honey, I can't possibly accept that. You earned it. Mom, please. I insist, you and dad work so hard. You deserve it. I can't believe you did this. Thank you. You're welcome. And dad, let me help you with these chairs. Thank you, son. This really means so much to us. We love you so much, honey. I love you guys too. So how does this thing work? Does it flip like my old phone? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Mom. I'll show you how. 